This morning, spring break, Miami Beach, and peaceful all in the same sentence. We've actually been uh, surprised with how calm everything's been. That's something we haven't been able to say in years. Did you think it was going to be a crush of people off of Ocean Drive? Yeah, like a regularly be when we come. I've seen more police than people. To really get the full picture, it might help to see the beach from above compared to recent years when unruly crowds <laughs> and fatal shootings led to states of emergency, darkening the sun-soaked celebrations. This year, though, authorities cracking down to protect families and partiers alike. When you look around, what are you seeing today? A lot of police officers. And barricades. But, but very friendly, smiling police officers. They're ready if anything happens. Police making more than 140 arrests so far, utilizing DUI checkpoints and barricades to block parking which you'll see in front of Tracy Ravel's store, The Baked Bear, on nearby Washington Avenue. To know that our sales are down from the previous week pre-spring break, that's a huge impact for me. This one is the pistachio. Ravel is grateful for the safety measures, but says the restrictions are eating into her profits by at least 20%. Can you fault the city for taking these steps? It's kind of hard to fault them because, again, we want them to be safe. We don't want Miami to shut down. We want people to want to come to South Beach. Right down the street, under normal circumstances, how crowded would this restaurant be right now? Uh, I would have at least half of the tables and maybe some people at the bar. I so have it would no not be one. Bolivar restaurant is empty at six o'clock on a Sunday. I didn't. I mean, if you're a customer and you want to, you see, oh look, a Latin American restaurant, and you have no place to to park. What can you do? So this right here is devastating for business. Yeah, this is devastation for us. The upshot for the city and South Florida is that order is being restored. I think that with the barricades and just the police presence is making everybody feel a little bit more comfortable. In a place that's traditionally been a spring break haven for rowdy college students. Now, as millions again flock here to unwind, it's partying with parameters. If you abide by the rules, you'll have a great time. If you break the rules, we will deal with you accordingly.